All right, everything went swimmingly with the Langmere XL extension kit. Is that what they call it? I think that's what they call it. And uh, so the first test cuts, I, I wish they would have been a little bit, um, looked better because now they just kind of, I don't know, doesn't look good for them. It's not them, it, it was me. That, that, that was bad consumables and a uh, hand torch. The consumables are, you know, poor quality to begin with. Uh, those came straight from uh, Lodos or Lotus or Lotus, however you pronounce it, the uh, LTP 5500D available on Amazon. Uh, the, 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 the system actually works really good. It, it's a great, it's, it's a great uh, plasma cutter. The hand torch, IPT60 uh, torch handle, they kind of modified it just enough so that you can't really use anybody else's consumables in that torch, only theirs, and they're like a hundred bucks. You should be able to get those consumables as inexpensive as they are, uh, the quality. You should be able to pick them up for like 20, 30 bucks for a pack of 10 pieces each and any, anywhere else. And I've tried and I'm telling, don't do it. They, they will not work. I promise you they will not work. Um, next, next step, we're gonna go ahead and put in a machine torch. This machine torch uh, I purchased uh, from Plasmadyne. I'm sure that you've been all the, on all the uh, Plasma CNC uh, forums. Uh, if you use Lamier systems, obviously that's probably how you ended up here watching this video uh, because you have a Lamier table already. You've probably seen in their forums as well. People asking about, oh, is the Plasmadyne gonna hook up to this, that, and the other? Uh, small outfit based out of some other state somewhere. Missouri? I think, I don't remember. I spoke with him uh, on the telephone and uh, extremely helpful, very knowledgeable. And well, I ended up buying one. Here it is. This is the, uh, what is it? The, uh, the X45 machine torch. Yeah, let's open it. Machine torch action. So they set up a lot of these. They'll work with hypotherm and um, you know, they'll, they'll make them for those titaniums that you can get a Harbor Freight. Uh, they make one for Lotus. They, they know their stuff. Actually, you know, they actually have a, a Lotus machine. I think they run the LTP 5500D as a bench testing unit. So once they um, finish building the torch for whatever, they, they go into, um, they go into a, a bridge unit that has a different hookups and you can flip a switch, choose that one, and they'll use the Lotus to fire off the torch, make sure everything's operating properly. So, uh, here we go. We're off to a good start already. Oh, this is going to change everything. This is going to change the world. <laughs> My world. Look at this. This is nice. Yeah. Oh, that looks all robust and junk. I am, I am already excited. You should be excited for me. This is, this is going to be amazing. See, this looks like business right there. That, that looks like, uh. Let's do this. That machine torch is not gonna hook up onto your system unless you got one of these also. This was ordered from uh, the Langmuir website. This is going to be the clamping unit for a machine torch. So your standard clamping unit is not gonna be enough because clamping in only one position on that torch at the base, that's, that's not enough. I mean, you got that, you got the big old, it's, you gotta have two places to hold on to it. You need two hands. <laughs> so naturally you're gonna have to remove the old clamp from the uh, previous torch handle and you know, <laughs> jiggly. Um, so yeah, remove that thing. You don't need it anymore. You've, you've moved up in the world. Look at those, they're just so, expertly crafted and machined aluminum billet parts really nice uh, the anodizing is butter there they look fantastic there's all your hardware and uh yeah yeah so back of the yokes uh the the pieces are fairly obvious uh kind of like the last video everything pretty much only has one place that it can go uh this right here is the only thing that kind of got me it was like come on langmere come on oh see the the t-handle wrench that the rest of the table uses that comes with your table yeah not the right size for that so you know i mean but if that's all you have to complain about i mean i think we're doing okay so 
You can't have everything. Can't have all that you be. Um, yep. So get the uh, back of the shackles on that slide bar. I'm gonna I'm gonna be making up terminology as we go. I have no idea what these things are called. This is another one of those cases where clearly this gentleman did not read the uh, instruction manual that was or may or may not have been included. It was probably included. I just <laughs> uh, yeah. Everything only has one place, right? I think. I hope. I mean, I, you know, I'm still in business, so I did, I did something right. Skating on luck. So that little knobby knob, save that. I always save those little things. They, they could be used so many different places. Uh, so yeah, set that aside because we're going to be using it again, obviously. And uh, man, those, those parts, I'm telling you, they, they really, they got their act together over there at uh, Langmere. I mean, as simple as these tables are, plenty can go wrong. And all their parts are really, they fit together. Like a champion, I had I had dropped some. <laughs> one of, the, of course, I dropped one of the critical parts in, into the uh, water table because, yeah, I just I I guess I just have this thing with not using magnetic trays. But uh, get yourself a telescoping magnet. It they just they're gonna come in handy. If you don't have one, you're gonna need it. It's one of those situations. So I uh, put that in there, and yeah, clearly that that's that nut that I or that bolt that I pulled out of the water table. Yeah, that was. I needed that, so that knob has to come out. All right, let's listen to this guy. Uh, perfectly, whatever this would be called, dropping from here to here. Concentric? No, that's not right. Uh, Coplanar. <laughs> yeah, this body right here and this body right here, these are two different pieces. This barrel and this barrel are off by what some might consider to be negligible. But in the world of CNC, it's worlds apart. So, I was told that, or I was told, I read on a forum like you may have, to mount this upside down. And then you bring this shackle up higher. That way you're only mounted to one barrel, one or the other. This one being the longer of the two, we're gonna be mounted there. So, we'll make that adjustment now. I think I actually ended up going against that idea down the road. It, um, I, I've i cut heavier plate uh, on this torch and I moved that shackle back down to the lower barrel and I, I didn't notice any difference. So, I mean, do it or don't, it won't well, matter. I, I want to say these consumables are like a hypotherm style. What did they say in here? What did they say about these? What style are these? Yeah, based on the hypotherm Power Max 45. This crap right here. No more. I, I, don't get me wrong, Lotus, Lotus, Lettuce, <laughs> whatever your name is. I don't know. I mean, look at these little things. Look at these cute little noisemakers. Really? That's the. That's what we're producing. Look at this. With the heat of the sun, we slice through metal like butter, and these are the consumables that we are doing it with. And when I open up this torch head, look how robust that looks. I mean, that's, there we go, yeah. And then you got the shielded noisemaker. Look at this thing, look at this thing. Oh, come on, I mean, this is, and then that part comes off right there too. I mean, this is, this is nice. This is, there's no comparison. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. But you got to pay for it. So this, uh, I want to say this torch set me back about 300 bucks. Two, 285, 289, something like that. 290. Yeah, about three, say 300 bucks. You're going to get yourself into a machine torch for about 300 bucks through plasma dyeing. So far, I'm impressed with the, uh, the appearance of their quality. But only running this test will tell. So after making those unnecessary adjustments to the uh, mounting bracket for the torch, we get that thing put back into the Z-axis carriage, lock her down, and it is, uh, it is time to plug it in. Uh, the plug does have a top and bottom, just got to make sure the pins are oriented in the right position. And the, uh, the screw collar on that plug going into the plasma cutter, super positive fitment, very nice. Don't forget, you want to do a test fire 
on that torch before you go off cutting. Put some scrap in there. Uh, clearly I didn't do that. And find out uh, what your pierce delay changes might have to be. Uh, otherwise you'll probably throw a code. It'll say it lost contact or it began moving before the torch fired. It's going to be most likely a pierce delay issue. And you know, you know, figure that out and then you'll be off to the races. Uh, this thing cut extremely well. Uh, the, this is another case where the z-axis is just a must, especially on light gauge material. It has to know where it is when there's heat deflection and stuff will kick up, plates will bend and whatnot. But super clean cuts, very impressed. Couldn't be happier with that torch uh, for the money. Uh, 300 bucks for that torch shipped directly to my doorstep. Um, and a set of consumables already installed in it. Uh, buy a sets of consumables from them as well. I mean, we're talking like 20 bucks for sets of five on each. Get yourself an extra shield. Get different sizes of consumables. Maybe fine cut. Give them, a, give them an email. Talk to them. Extremely knowledgeable. They're happy to talk with you. Uh, uh, all my questions got answered. I think I was on the phone with them for 45 minutes before I made my purchase, which is more than I can say for many places. Uh, but either way, Go back in the timeline, write down that email for Plasmadine USA, and you won't be disappointed. Big shout out and thank you to them. This was a must have uh, for my little crossfire. Thank you for watching. Be well.